Good morning everyone, Spear speaking. It's Tuesday morning, it's the 13th of February 2018. Time is about 8 o'clock GMT time when I made this video clip. Starting off with the Euro Index daily chart today. Why the daily chart? Well, if we look at the direction indicator, we can see we mix on the 4 hour. Plus last week we closed 92 pips lower than the opening. So we were trending down on the 4 hour. But the main trend is still up guys, so we need to look for a long zone. We can't flip the 4 hour, we have to flip the daily. We do that by flipping from last month's low to the high that we had that month, this current month. Then our zone will be between 108.52 coming down to 108.01. In the trading zone we had this 55, we can see our price touched the 75% flip and we move back up. Now we're hitting a resistance area here, it's the 4 hour 55 EMA guys, so be careful. If you're in a long, be careful. I will prefer if price can break this level, pull back and then aim too long on this one. Okay, but for now we definitely looks like we're finding resistance at 108.76. If we do break for to the upside, I will look for counter trades at 109.53, back down to 108.76. Euro US dollar daily chart here too. The direction is mixed. The daily tells us that the main trend is still up. And last week we closed 195 pips lower than opening so we can't flip the four hour we have to flip the daily we do that by flipping it from the low to the high that we have previous month our zone will be between 1.2222 and 2085 in the trading zone at the 50 percent flip we have the four hour 200 ema we have a psychological level, boiling a band, and a 55 at 2158. So those will be my areas where I would like solid support to go long again. Counter trades, 2537. And the psychological level, level here of 2600. Euro JPY, daily chart. Last week we closed, uh, uh, there was a big move guys, we closed 363 pips lower than the opening. We broke a hell of a lot of EMAs to the downside. Look at all these EMAs. It broke. It was good solid support. We had a trend line there in place. Look at this. That trend line broke. So that is a big level. Now currently we are a little bit in no man's land. Now I will play this one for this week. I will look for resistance between 13445, 13475. We've got a hell of a lot of EMAs there broke and that will be an M2 short where price pull back to that area and then a drop and then we've got a big support area between between 13137 13027 look at all the EMAs there monthly pivot point psychological level so that's how I will play it look for support to go long here look for resistance to short in that area here a pound daily chart this one is all over the place guys you can see how we whip swing through all these emas we've got two 200 emas there plus a 55 price is not respecting it however price did respect previously a psychological level of 8900 and 8950 look to the left previous support resistance there uh, stochastic is overbought macd is high so i will really look at those levels for possible short setups pound to use dollar daily chart remember Euro pound is negative correlated with the pound US dollar. So if we're expecting this one to drop, this one needs to go up. And if we flip this, we are in a zone for possible long setups. Here too, we have to flip the daily. Last week we closed 290 pips load in the opening, so we were trending down. But the main trend is still up, so we can't flip the four hour to lot for the long zone. We have to flip the daily. We do that by flipping from the low to the high. Then our zone starting at 3902 coming down to 3677 now price at 3846 3760 key areas for me there you guys we've got a 200 EMA day psychological level 55 EMA where I want solid support before I will consider taking any longs on that bound JPY weekly chart for weeks I showed you guys that I don't want it to go long yet we had a doji candle at a weekly 200 EMA we had a bit of a break to the upside but in the very next day or rather the very next week we had a big drop now two ways how you can play this I will prefer a pullback to 152.16 for M2 short otherwise wait for 148.70 to break clearly to the downside then a pullback to that for a short setup Aussie use dollar daily chart 
here we also broke a lot of EMAs. So 200 EMA, psychological level 55, monthly pivot point. Okay, and a monthly pivot point, support pivot point was support that turns now into resistance. So there's two ways how we can play this one or how I will play this week. I will look for resistance at 7862, going up to 7890, where I want to short from. Possible long setups from 7770 while that holds. So we might be ranging between the top area and the bottom area on that one if for some reason we do break to the upside there will be a possibility for m2 long where price breaks important levels pull back to them and then the continuation but for now key level 7890 aussie jpy four hour chart yeah we can see we can flip the four hour we nice red color here daily red color we close 188 pips load in the opening so everything tells us to short we can fit previous week from the high to the low then we've got a zone 85.77 going up to 86.64 now yesterday i said to you guys keep your eyes on the 54 ema at 85.53 it is a 54 ema boiling a band is there weekly main pivot point is there price touch that look at that four hour doji candle there very next candle we had a nice big drop price busy falling and main profit take for me will be in this area yeah which was last week weeks low week tongue twist up here last week's low at 83.99 and if that breaks 83.56 for that support for profit take okay use dollar jpy four hour chart yeah where is this one going look at this four hour candle that was an 83 pip candle so that's quite big this one everything shouts at us to look for shorts four hour and the daily we close 116 pips load in opening so we can flip the four hour we do that we flip previous week from the high to the low then our zone will be between 10901 going up to 10965 now price yesterday went sideways and then we had this drop now if we make new lows here follow it with your flip so that the earth and sky trading zone can adjust Areas for shorts for me, 108.71, oh seven. that area there. We've got a psychological level there, 50%, weekly pivot point plus 55. So there is lots happening there. But for now, we're dropping. So look for support, but be very careful with that counter trade. Okay. Use dollar cat daily chart. This one broke a lot of EMAs to the upside. We had a 255, so 200 and monthly pivot point, but we're hitting a psychological level at 2600. Look how price slammed into it. It was previous support resistance if we look to the left of the chart. Now, I will not look for shorts from there, guys, because if you're short there, we're trading right into support again. I will prefer if we can break to the upside. And then I will relook at 2701, 2722. It's just a higher up, lots happening there. And then there's a potential of 165 pips. Where we are now, there's only a possibility of about 60 pips on that one. US dollar, Singapore dollar, daily chart. Four hours mix, daily tells us to short. Last week we closed 66 pips higher than opening, so we can't flip the four hour. We have to do the daily. So we flip previous month from the high to the low. Then our zone starting at 3190 going up to 3288 now price yesterday was in this area here we had the drop i will prefer if we can close under 3224 again before i will reconsider taking shorts because it looks like we might be finding support there it's also something that i've noticed is that this is interesting We need to keep our eyes on this because that might turn out to be an inverted head and shoulder pattern so keep note of that because if that is the case then there's a possibility neckline is about 311 so if it breaks to the upside 311 will take us up to this psychological level here which holds hands with previous support resistance if that is going to be the case so take note of it but for now main trend is still short for us use dollar index daily chart why daily well yeah two lots of daily charts this week because of this the previous week we close either to higher or lower than the main trends four hours are mixed so we have to look then at the daily the daily tells us the main trend is short so we flip daily from the high to the low our zone starting at 90.53 going up to 91.58 
that will be our zone areas of interest 9062 9106 9158 where i want to short that from currently we're sitting on support here again if that breaks look for empty short where price drops pull back to this level then the continuation otherwise if we find support move to these two emas i will really look to short from there that's it remember we've got a webinar today a little bit later if you can't make it there's always a web recording later in the afternoon available for you guys please watch it uh, guys ask questions there and um, yeah judith also give us a little bit of feedback of fundamentals what's happening on that side cheers